bottom of the deck we have King of Pentacles. So either you're dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male dominated, could be male or female, but male dominated. This person has their shit together financially, and they're just very logical and they're practical, and everything they do is also methodical. Now, let's see uh, what role this person plays in your life, Aquarius. What is the situation? What is the situation for my Aquarius? Thank you. What's coming towards my Aquarius? What's coming towards them? What's coming towards my Aquarius people? Thank you. What should they be <clears throat> aware of? Assholes. <laughs> Advice. Advice. Ooh. And outcome. Ooh. Okay, let's see. All right, guys, so, Knight of Swords. This is a air, this is air sign, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or um, Gemini, but this is mostly a night bringing in messages, and quickly, and quite quickly. Usually it's good news, but sometimes it's not. Uh, as if, just a quick note for the single folk, there's somebody coming in, but you need to get over some past hurt first before that person can come in. But somebody's going to come in and sweep you off your feet, and that's what that denotes. Now, for the, those of you that are dealing with this King of Pentacles, it looks like some heartache is on the horizon regarding this person. There, you're just, I, I don't know what it is about this person that it's just not, I do know. Let me go. Sorry. You have the Strength card in what's coming towards you. This is also a Leo person so you could be dealing with a leo aquarius this can also talk about strength and patience needing strength or patience what well, you should be aware of three of swords this is profound pain somebody causing you big time heartache it could be through a breakup or cheating or lying or manipulation whatever it is it comes and it comes suddenly and it's profound pain now as far as advice it's ace of cups all for love is what it's saying Offer a cup of love. Offer your heart. So at first I was like, well, what's going on with this King of Pentacles? Or it could be this Leo. Your advice is to offer love. So maybe they were just seeing you as not emotional or just um, too cavalier, I want to say. But in the outcome position, I have guilt and resentment. Now that was the general synopsis, guys. So I'm going to go in and clarify and see what's going on with you guys. What is the Knight of Swords here for? Clarify the Knight of Swords for my Aquarius people. Thank you. Yeah, it's exactly what I just got done saying. Okay. Some of you could work in the legal system, something like that, or you recently got or getting a divorce or uh, filing for something uh, legally, and it's not going your way. And then this Knight is coming in to deliver that news. Whatever legal thing that you file for isn't going to go your way, and it's going to cost you a pretty penny. So I don't know if some of you are going through a divorce or a separation of some kind. It's going to cost you some money. It's, well, not it's going to. You're not going to really lose. It's going to force you to lock down what you do have. Unfortunately, for those of you before that I was talking about that you might be dealing with a King of Pentacles. Again, this talks about not being vulnerable, not you know spilling your beans or your heart out. You're not. You're not sharing. You're locking it down is basically what that's saying. Why is strength here? I, I think for those of you that where this breakup might have happened and they came after you legally for something, you weren't expecting it. So that's why there's heartache. It's something that about that that really caused you pain. Now, uh, it, for most of you, it is a marriage or a union that's splitting apart. And uh, the Seven of Cups could talk about delusions, confusion, or many options on the table. But it's clarifying the Strength card. So it is telling me it's about something that's an orthodox, traditional union of some kind. And you're confused as to what's going on. But you need strength and patience to deal and handle what all this is up about. Now, Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Please clarify Three of Swords. 
Yeah, you, and here's the card of you, Aquarius, but it's in, in the reverse position. It also talks about lack of hope or faith regarding the matter. So, you know, this profound pain, you're, you're, you're telling yourself, oh, it's useless. It's, it's never going to work out. It's just like it's over. It's done. You find no hope in this matter at all. So, but you shouldn't because they're telling you maybe you should offer, you know, your love to that person. You know, don't be locking it down. Don't, you know, be vulnerable. Don't be locking it down. Because if the universe is saying, hey, you know, why don't you try, you know, offer a relationship or love or do a do-over. Start a fresh new love because aces are new beginnings. Why is the ace of cups here? Please clarify ace of cups. This is the advice. So I need you to know that that's not what's actually happening. That's what the universe is advising you to do. Queen of Wands in reverse. So... This is a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, female. But in the advice position, along with the Ace of Cups, it, they're telling you to be adamant. And because uh, usually the, the Queen of Wands are action. But in the reverse, it's like they're either a little bit bitchy or nasty or they make mistakes, kind of thing like that. Um, but this is just like, don't think about it, just do it. That's what this is saying. That's the advice. Don't think, just do. Offer your love back to that person. Say, let's start fresh. Let's start something brand new. Let's start over. Don't think, just do. Be like the queen of uh, wands in reverse, basically. Okay, five of cups. Why is the five of cups here? Five, yeah, there's resentment and guilt and sorrow regarding whatever had happened here. You know, don't neglect the advice by the universe. Use it. And, and that's why I always have it in this series of readings. But never have I done a reading where this was the most prevalent I've ever seen that's needed at this point in time. Because there's there's guilt and resentment and you're finding it hopeless. That it's nothing that's going to work. But then the Page of Cups. So somebody does say something where you see a tiny spark of faith. A tiny faith. A little bit uh, of a doorway cracked open for you to go in because you either hear something or they hear something that they like so it's a it's an offering of love but it's on a page which is very little you need to give more so guys this is just uh mid um april going to the end of april you know things may change in may who knows but definitely try working at it what other messages you have for my aquarians Aquarius, Archangel, Michael, Samuel, Raphael, what do you have for my Aquarius? Ooh, definitely did not mean to do that many. Ugh, sorry about that. I got release your ex and reconciliation here. I'm going to throw him back in the deck and see what happens. Let me see if anything comes back out from my Aquarius. Because there was like five or six that fell out. I don't want to take that many because it's just confusion. Yeah, I'm going to go with reconciliation and or the other one that I said, but also past life relationship. So this person is very significant to you. They're, they're, they, they were a past life. You have known each other before, but not just that, the reconciliation is th that's why I was looking at this little page of cups here. I do feel like there's a doorway crack for a possibility of a reconciliation. And that's why your advice is, you know, offer a brand new relationship of some kind. Don't just think it's hopeless and it's never going to work. Don't, you know, there's a tiny, tiny little thing that somebody says that sparks it where there's a way to that for you guys to have a reconciliation. This person is very significant to you. Past life relationship and i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a reconciliation i i did i do feel it on the horizon and the five six cards that did drop on the floor that i briefly saw all were related to the same exact story all right aquarius come back to me in maine let's see what happens bye